Hey folks, welcome to part one of this Blender tutorial series where I teach you how to make this Bluetooth speaker. It's a JBL Charge 5. It's an excellent speaker. I've got one of my own. It can produce excellent bass. It can daisy chain with other JBL speakers. You know, you can have like eight of them in a row daisy chain together playing the same track. It's a great speaker. It's waterproof. And without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to leave in the, I'll leave a link in the description to this web page here. Um, it's uh, going to hold all the reference images we're going to work from. So you're going to type in YouTube as the password with a capital Y. So capital Y O U capital T U B E. Oh, hang on, I've spelt that wrong. What a great start. And then we're going to click this going to take you to this page here we're going to click this image here so these are previous renders that I've done uh, w which we can work from so you're going to download all these images the front back top bottom left right and a couple of orbit views just for referencing and you're going to download this JBL logo here as well to download simply right click save image as and save it into a location of your choosing from there we're going to open up Blender. Let's delete the default cube. We'll probably add it later on. Poor default cube. So I'm going to. Oh, I've got my screencast keys on down here as well. So if you're wondering which keys I'm striking, you just look to the bottom left. So I'm going to hit Shift A, add image, reference image. I'm going to select the front view. We'll add that into the play. We're going to go to this tab here where it says data which is for your image um, we'll just zoom into that so on every single reference image we're going to click front and front and that ensures that we can only see it from one side I'm also going to turn on opacity to 0.5 I'll then drag this image on the Y axis to there okay I'm going to add image reference image and we'll go for the back view which is that one I'm also going to click off align to view because otherwise it will align it to whichever angle I'm looking I don't want that so load reference image I'm going to hit R X 90 and where it's the back view we're also going to rotate it on the Z axis so R Z 180 so we can see it from this side I'm going to click front front to ensure we can't see the back of it opacity set to 0.5 I'll then go into side view mode and then we'll drag that on the y-axis this way so we've got that and that so far I'm going to repeat the procedure for all the ref re rest of the reference images so we we'll go to top view we're going to select that um, it's already in the right orientation so then we just need to drag it up on the z-axis G, Z to about there and also we're going to select front, front, opacity 0.5 we'll do the same for the bottom view reference, that's the bottom view there uh, with this one we're going to have to rotate it on the x-axis 180 degrees so R, X, 1, 8, O enter we drag that down, G, Z, and I'm holding control to snap it to the grid. We're going to have to move all these anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's, you know, not perfectly in line. Click capacity, 0.5, front, front, and that ensures we can only see it from the bottom. Now we just do the left and right, or right and left, whichever way you prefer. I'm going to click this one, so that's the right image. And then R X 90 R Z 90 we drag that all the way across here G X control snap it to the grid again we're going to select 0.5 on the opacity in front in front we'll just check that that's right yep excellent and then we'll do it one more time for the reference image for the left view which should be this one here load reference image rx90 r 
Z 90 minus and then we'll drag that across G X control to about there again opacity 0.5 front view front view I'm also going to set up my camera as well so okay that will do for now because what we're going to do now is add a reference um, cube uh, so we've got the right dimensions I've got the right dimensions here so it's 22 centimeters by 9.6 centimeters by 9.3 centimeters it's just so we get the scale correct it's important to get your scale correct because when you're animating uh, the camera you want the right focal length the right depth of field um, and yeah if you've got everything to scale it ensures everything is uh, nice on the final output so I'm going to hit shift a mesh cube oh, before I do that let's get tidy so I'm going to select all these reference images so I'm going to select the top one in my outliner and then control shift select the bottom one I'm then going to hit M for move add collection and we'll call it ref images and then we'll move all them in the reference images folder I'm going to mute that just so we can see the cube um, go to front view I'm going to hit N go to item and here we can put in the dimensions so you might want to take a screen cast uh, shot of that or just uh, trust that I'm getting it right guys so the first one is going to be 22 cm for 22 centimeters the second one is going to be 9.6 cm and the z is going to be 9.3 centimeters as you can see it's a lot smaller than these reference images so we're going to scale all the reference images down to this size it's an easy enough task i'm just going to select the bottom one Control shift select the top one so we've got all of them selected and then I'm gonna hit S to scale and we're gonna scale all these down so it fits inside that box like that okay we're gonna have to drag a few of these about so we'll drag the front view G Y doesn't have to be perfect but we'll get it as close as we can and then we'll select the back G, Y we'll then select the top G, Z and then we'll do the same for the bottom G, Z about the sides yeah we should do the sides really I could leave this where it is but in fact I will I'm gonna leave it on this line here same as with that one okay excellent so I'm gonna set up the camera so I'm gonna select my camera I'm gonna have a focal length of 70 mil you can go sort of anything between 40 and 70 it's good the sort of product renders. Um, I'm going to change the location of the camera as well so maybe we drag that to point negative one meter uh, just for now we're going to change this later on in the project. Looks like everything's set up good there okay I'm going to take that default cube we're going to delete it no need for it anymore we've got everything set up just the way we like it so now I'm going to go into file, we're going to save as, choose a folder of your choosing, a location. I'm going to save it as JBL charge 5 YT for YouTube, TUT for tutorial. You can call it whatever you like. Click save. that's it for part one we've set everything up and we're ready to continue on to part two i hope you enjoyed this so far 
we'll get down to the nitty gritty in uh, part two where we're going to be modeling the actual body the speaker itself thanks for watching <laughs>